CNN. This is an X network. CNN is well past its sell by date. After the triple whammy of retracting an obviously fake story, Project Veritas outing its staff as painters of pernicious pasture patties, and doxing a meme artist on Reddit, we've reached the terminal moment. Now, that terminal moment usually happens with a bank the minute the CEO comes out and says, hey, look, we have plenty of money. Everything's fine. That's usually on Wednesday. By Friday, the FDIC and the Fed are selling what's left for a can of refried beans, a pack of Marlboro Reds, and a two-for-one drinks coupon at the Cheetah. We reached that moment with CNN last week when CEO Jeff Zucker came out and tried to play the victim card because Donald Trump is a bully. Quote, He's trying to bully us, and we're not going to let him intimidate us. You can't lose your confidence and let that change the way you conduct yourselves. It's my job to remind everyone that they need to stay focused doing their job. Yeah, but they lied to make money and were caught on tape. But Trump's a bully. Trump is a bully, but so what? They lied to make money and were caught on tape. CNN has become the parrot in the classic Monty Python sketch, and Jeff Zucker is Michael Palin trying to convince John Cleese it's just pining for the fjords. The only thing CNN is pining for right now is a bullet to put it out of our misery. And the only thing putting a bigger smile on my face than CNN's ratings implosion is ESPN's. This is what happens when agenda is more important than mission. CNN put agenda ahead of survival. It pushed to go full retard in its negative coverage of Trump to try and grab some of that sweet MSNBC ratings pie, but in doing so, violated the relationship with its core viewership. What was it the man said? You never go full retard. There is a big difference between Anderson Cooper's branding and Rachel Maddow's. No one takes Maddow seriously as a journalist. She's Stephen Colbert's crazy cat lady neighbor. If she wasn't so dead earnest about everything, I'd think her show was the highest form of satire one could create. But CNN still tried to maintain the gravitas of having Darth Vader boom out at the top of every hour. This is CNN. And a million voices cried out in anguish and changed the channel. CNN in specific and the media in general thought that Trump being good for ratings would insulate them from the backlash for their behavior. Well, they got away with it in 2008 and 2012 with Ron Paul. Wolf Blitzer had the good doctor on dozens of times and treated him poorly, but it was good for CNN and for Ron Paul, and we let it slide. Hell, back then, we were just happy to see our guy getting some face time. But now, with the stakes a couple of orders of magnitude higher and a win under our belt, it was time to remind these clowns just who has the power in a free market of ideas. News has become, like so many things in the internet age, commoditized. What has value is not reporting the events, but honest commentary about those events. And that's what we're not tuning in for. There are so many outlets competing for your attention that do a better job interpreting events that it is no longer necessary for anyone to tune into CNN ever. The only reason people tune into MSNBC is to hold candlelight vigils worshipping Rachel Maddow's horned-rimmed expose of the latest Trump faux pas. Because middle-class liberals love a little snark with their news, it makes them feel intelligent. But at the end of the day, even MSNBC's days are as limited as CNN's are. The millennials are simply not watching network news. They aren't listening to NPR or reading The Atlantic either. For two generations, people like Jeff Zucker created a matrix of a fake world that we were all supposed to buy into, or at least ignore, while the left and its pillars in the media shouted at us the parameters of acceptable thought. And anything outside of those narrow parameters was first unacceptable in polite company, then it was hate speech. After that, asking simple questions became conspiracy theories, and now arguing with anything the left says is true is simply fake news. But like every one of those positions, it was all a lie to mask the deep-seated fear that we knew all along that they were painting with pasture patties. Now, like all good confidence men, they've been caught when the lies became so convoluted, even they couldn't keep them straight. Lovely plumage, that Norwegian blue. This is CNN.